So then topic back one another video on Strange Wang. Today we are doing over and under on Adam Sandler films. I consider this to be the last great Adam Sandler comedy. So with that being said, I think it's underrated. I think it mixes the nostalgia perfectly. It also mixes the comedy of today where Andy Sandberg brings his style in there with Adam's 90s Waterboy-esque comedy. And it's a good mixture of both. It's not all Sandler and his friends 90s comedy so you don't get drowned out or bogged down or this was funny for the first five minutes like a lot of his films usually are. So I would say it's underrated because it blends a lot of things perfectly and we might talk about a film named Blended later on on the list. The Wedding Singer. I think this film is underrated because on a romantic comedy standpoint it doesn't get talked about enough. Sandler and it's hilarious. Barry Moore and Sam's chemistry is unrivaled. I put it on a pedestal next to Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. I think their chemistry is that damn good. Just the 80s-ness in it isn't like, it's a, little, it's a little much, but it's comedic. So it's not nostalgia for nostalgia. It's more nostalgia to be like, oh my God, looking back at your yearbook. Funniness, comedy, and nostalgia. So I appreciate that also. The song at the end, Beethoven couldn't come up with something that damn good. Big Daddy. I don't feel like the comedy is at its peak where his other comedies have heart and are more funny. Funnier, I should say. So I think it's a little bit overrated for sure. Grown ups. I spent a year of my life hearing I'm chocolate wasted. So to have that stupidity pour into my ear day after day for a full year I'm going to say this film is overrated as hell everybody and their mama their father, their grandpappy their great aunt Josephine with her glass eye seen this movie and talked about it and talked about how they're chocolate wasted and I think this movie's stupid it's a bad reason to get together with your friends and go on vacation it has too much outrageous comedy the ruin and it ruins the heart of the film, so by far overrated. False missing link. Happy Gilmore. I think that film's perfectly rated. Very good comedy, very good sports movie. Has very memorable moments. You got Bob Barker, Shooter McGavin, incredible villain. Uh, has Carl Carl Weathers in it for Christ's sake, you know. Apollo Creed. What's not to love? Billy Madison. Fourteen sixty nine. I'm gonna say it's underrated, only because. Joke wise, it's hitting nothing but dingers. You know, you got the penguin, you got the clown, you got the school principal as a wrestler. The gags in it are very funny. The Sasquatch, peeing your pants is cool on Miles Davis. This film is hilarious. Personally, I think this is Adam Sandler's funniest film he's ever made. So, with that being said, a little bit underrated and has that incredible scene with Sandler in the bathtub. And he ends the scene. What are you looking at, Swan? Comedy gold. I'm going to say this is a bit underrated because it's not rated at all. No one holds this film in any sort of regard. So I'm going to say it's underrated because the heart, again, I put their relationship, Sandler and Barrymore, on a pedestal very high. And their relationship is unrivaled in this film. is no different. But everything else in the film kind of sucks. The premise is good. The kids on both sides are outrageous, over-the-top characters. Terry Crews is stupid. His muscles are stupid. His right pectoral muscles is the stupidest part of this movie. So, it has a lot of bad things in it. But their relationship alone, I think you should see it for that if you haven't seen it already. Because that part's extremely enjoyable. The Water Boy. I'm going to say The Water Boy is a bit overrated because... This is where we got into that stupid Sandler voice. And it's just like, to me personally, he's relied on that in later films. Like Grown Ups, Grown Ups 2, whatever else he made, Jack and Jill. They come up with these stupid characters. And we need a joke right here. I'll just change my voice and say, duh, 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 duh. I do. For that, it's garbage. But it is a comedy classic. So... A bit overrated because of the repercussions effects it had on his career afterwards. I feel like bulletproof. 
Bulletproof is sort of a buddy cop movie. Uh, Damian Wayne falls in love with a snitch, played by Adam Sandler, of course. They got really good chemistry. I enjoyed the film. Nobody talks about the action. It's basic action. It's your basic action movie. It's not rated at all. So I'm going to say it's underrated because it has no rating. And I really enjoyed it. So you should enjoy it too. Go and see it if you haven't already. It might be on Netflix for quarantine. Rent it off Amazon or something. I don't know. Little Nikki. I'm going to say this film's perfectly rated because it's kind of a cult classic, I guess. If you love it, you really love it. If not, you don't love it. I think it's incredible. You got, you got Debo in it. Roddy Dangerfield, Harvey Keitel, great cast. That's over and under on Adam Sandler Films. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.